Tim Collins with Coleman Today. I'm with Senator Paul Bussman. Senator, when I talked to you last, it looked like there's going to be a lot of woods, a lot of trees. We've got a week left. Tell us what's going on in the Senate. Well, we're in the home stretch. We've got four days left. Uh, we've got a lot yet to do. Uh, we've got the general fund budget has gone to the governor. We've still got the education budget to finish up. Uh, we've got a tremendously important autism bill that needs to be uh, voted on. Uh, we've got a tremendously important uh, midwife bill that has to be voted on. Uh, we still got redistricting that has to be voted on. So it, it's going to be an interesting week. Uh, it could be up or down. I can't tell you right now how it's going to be, but uh, it could be interesting. Well, it sounds like it. What has baffled me over the last couple of weeks is the general fund budget. I thought that would go on to the very bitter end, and you guys passed that pronto. I mean, it took no time at all. How's that possible? Well, <clears throat> most of the time when you don't have any money, uh, and we're not arguing over who gets the extra, uh, it passes pretty quickly. And I think that's what happened with the general fund. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I could not support the general fund budget. Uh, and I voted no. Uh, we have added uh, in that budget, we have added $8 million in increased taxes on the citizens of Alabama. And nobody voted on that. Nobody, there was no bill that came through the legislature that voted on that. It was simply done by the uh, Alabama Controlled Beverages and, and the ABCs. Uh, and that's wrong. Well, uh, yeah, I've watched that pretty closely, and, and you might correct me, but it appears as an outsider that agencies inside of the state government are raising taxes. I thought that was the job of the legislature. It, it seems like something's wrong there. That, that is, and that is my concern. Uh, you know, we have gone now from from legislators not raising your taxes to allowing agencies to raise your taxes. There was an amendment that would have would have forced us to vote on that particular issue uh, that was voted down. Uh, that told me a lot that says that, that they're going to let uh, the agencies continue to raise taxes and continue to raise your fees and they're not going to have to take the political hit for it. And, and to me that's wrong. Uh, I don't think I can, can support that and I did not support that. Uh, and so I think we've got we've to really look at that over the next year or two because uh, you know, we cannot have agencies just indiscriminately start raising people's taxes without somebody being held accountable for it. Well, let's switch to uh, really statewide. It's a big topic, autism and coverage for people with children with autism. This has blown up into a big story from both sides, hasn't it? It has, and it is a very important subject, and it's one that I've been supportive of for many, many months. Uh, we have a tremendous opportunity to here to have our children with autism covered by health insurance. Uh, that would be a huge benefit to the state of Alabama. We have children that are, are very young that we know behavioral treatment and behavioral therapy works. Uh, we've seen kids that are, are nonverbal go through behavioral uh, therapy and they are productive citizens now. Uh, it is, to me, it's a no-brainer. Uh, and it's, it's gonna be my goal this week, one of my goals this week, to make sure that comes up for a vote and make sure we vote that for the people of Alabama. There's a lot of games that could be played. I'm worried about those games. Uh, but my goal and the goal of several other senators is to make sure we vote on that bill this year. Well, the problem there seems like to me it's about money. I mean, if there's a cost factor to insurance companies to insure it, is that the holdup and that's caused some of the dissension or what is it? There's two things. First off, it's a mandate. It requires the insurance company co to cover it. The insurance companies are telling us it's going to be tremendously expensive to do that. But if you go to Missouri, Louisiana, places that have that already and are forced to report those costs, uh, it's not a cost at all. It's, it's $1 a month per family. Uh, and that to me is, is, is absolutely ridiculous that we don't pay for that coverage uh, for a dollar a month, which, which when you look at the big picture, if these children don't get treatment, then the state of Alabama is gonna be responsible for their care from 18 till they die. You cannot justify the cost on that. And so, like I said, we're gonna push that. Uh, we may have some filibusters go on uh, to make sure that that autism bill uh, comes up for a vote. Well, we're on the subject of children. How about uh, the education budget? It's pretty favorable. It looks like uh, your, your focus, which is kindergarten through a, uh, grade 12, might turn out okay. Yeah, it, it went to the house. I had several concerns about the way the education budget was. I thought K-12 should have had more money. Uh, it went down to the House. The House has modified it. And from what I've, I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, um, but I'll see it uh, this week. 
Um, I've heard that K-12 is, has more money in its, in its budget, and, and if that's the case, like I hear it is, that's going to be a tremendous improvement. Well, uh, I'm going to switch now to one of my favorite topics is, again, with children, is midwives. It's really a, a yes or no vote. Do we criminalize midwives or not? How, how's that going? That's going very well as well. Uh, it got out of committee this week, too. So it's passed the House. It's out of committee in the Senate. It's waiting on a vote. And, and so we are pushing, again, the rules chairman to put that on the calendar. I think they need, they deserve a vote, uh, up or down. And, and it doesn't, I'm not going to change anybody's mind one way or another on that issue, but we need to vote and let those people know. Are we going to continue to call them criminals or are we going to allow them to operate in Alabama without being charged? Well, Senator, it's a big week to finish off with. You've got, it looks like a, an important project's on the side here. So I'll check back with you next week and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Wish us well. Keep us in your prayers.